Hello Guardians, this is Scan at GLHFTV. Welcome to this first episode of the Spinfoil Hat, where we go over some of the more out there theories that, while far-fetched or even grabbing at straws, just might hold a small bit of truth in the craziness that is the Destiny universe. Today, we start on Titan, the methane ocean moon of Saturn that plays host to our encounters with the Hive in Destiny 2. While most evidence seems to allude that this hive brood on Titan is under the command of Sabathun, sister of Oryx and the Witch Queen of the Hive, we still don't really have anything concrete regarding why they are there. Sure, it makes sense that they are there when you take the proximity of Titan to the Dreadnought into account, but it still doesn't explain why. My theory is that there is a great power on Titan, Something important enough for Sabathun to make her way back across the cosmos, she went through a black hole at one point, to capture it for herself. That power, I believe, is locked within the Great Worm swimming within the oceans around the Pacific Arcology. That worm may well be Oryx's King Morph, the worm Oryx first ingested to gain the powers of the Deep and become leader of the Hive. This worm, through the tithe system that Oryx had built up over billions of years, fed upon an almost infinite flow of tribute and eventually grew to the size that you see on Titan. First, let's compare this giant worm to a normal sized worm. While it's hard to see many characteristics between the smaller worms and the swimmer that can definitively point out that they are of the same lineage, there is one notable trait that can be highlighted their tails. The tail of this smaller worm has two antennae-like protrusions, easily identifiable. If we look at the shadow of the swimmer, we see many such protrusions from its tail, but two in particular are longer and much more well-defined. This is the strongest visual evidence I have been able to come up with to date that could confirm this giant swimmer as a hive worm. Okay, so why do I think it is the King Morph then? Here's where I really think I'm stretching things, but follow me for a minute here. This enormous thing, this hive overgrowth that is sticking into one of the floating rigs on Titan, I think there is a slim chance that this thing might be Oryx's head. If you take an image of Oryx from Destiny 1, rotate it a bit, and overlay it here, I think you'd agree that the overall shape is a surprisingly close match. When you defeated Oryx at the end of King's Fall in Destiny 1, his body immediately began to crystallize as he floated out into space above Saturn, and I think that crystallization could have become this overgrowth you see over the head here. However, there is an issue of scale to take into account. This thing is far too large to possibly be Oryx's head, right? And that worm, there's no way that swimming worm could have possibly fit into Oryx, right? After all, look how long it takes for a grenade fired from a launcher to hit the windows through which you see the swimmer's silhouette. The shadow it is casting is absolutely enormous. Well, if scale is your issue, I have a rebuttal. The Dreadnought. See, in Destiny 1, through comparisons with the known width of the rings of Saturn and the size of the hole Oryx blasted in them, the Dreadnought was measured to be at least 3,444 kilometers long. So why do I bring this up? Take a look at the hole in the rings of Saturn as can be seen from Titan in Destiny 2. That tiny, tiny little speck in the center of the hole? That's the Dreadnought. Considering that hole is estimated to be roughly 15,000 kilometers wide, the Dreadnought's length should cover at least 20% of that distance, no? My point is, if Destiny didn't keep the scale of the Dreadnought correct from one title to the next, who's to say they didn't keep the scale of Oryx's body the same either? It's a stretch, sure, but I think it's enough to be a shred of evidence that Oryx's body fell to Titan. Thanks for watching the Spinfoil Hat. This has been Scan at GLHF TV.